Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Coming at you live downtown Kansas City, Missouri in the West Bottoms. And boy, do we got a cool truck. I know I say that all the time, but you don't see a lot of these coming out of our camp. We have got an 04 GMC Sierra 2500 HD, VIN code 2, LLY Duramax, 5-speed Allison Trans, regular cab long bed with some goodies. Super cool truck. And we're actually going to be cold starting it today. Well, not a cold start. We've been driving it. So this truck's got a lot going on. I'm going to jump into it with you. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, hit that like button. Hit the bell. Get some notifications going. We have always got super cool trucks on the channel. So if you like what you see already, you're going to want to check out some more. And you're helping us out. We appreciate you guys as fans, too. So change engine oil, which we've done. Didn't clear the message, obviously. It goes away. 150. Oh, it's going to come back. This is a work truck. A lot of these regular cabs, crank windows. I don't have the steering wheel controls to hit the button to make it go away. But there it is. 155, 889 on the miles. This is a super low mile, super rare truck. Regular cab, long bed. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a one owner. It might, I think it's a two owner truck. Um, super cool. It's got a JVC Android Auto, double DIN, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, all the good stuff on there it looks like. Um, dual climate control, heat's hot, AC's cold. Actually, let me just check that while we're here. Oh yeah, cold AC. Um, tinted windows in the front. It's not hard loaded. It's got the work truck seats and you know what? I'm gonna hop out because I had this driver's seat patched. And as you can tell, it's a really weird fabric. So it's just got a gray patch because there's no way we could find or match that. So seats fixed, no rips or tears, but impossible to match multicolor fabric. So welcome to the story on that. Not the end of the world though. So this truck guys, Oh yeah, the AC is ice cold. This truck, we got it. Phenomenal condition. This is a well-kept truck with some very tasteful modifications, manual four-wheel drive, trailer brakes. Um, this is just a little aftermarket console. It still has the original one down there, but it's kind of nice to have an armrest, so we left it in here. It was in there when we got it. Uh, when we got this truck, it had the very early signs of head gasket failure. Um, it wasn't puking coolant, but it was getting a little bit hot. We put it on a scanner, drove it, noticed it. You know, it was acceptable to sell, but that is not how we do them down here at 816 Diesel. So this truck got a complete teardown, EGR delete, new up pipes, manifold, um, grade C head gaskets. It got studs, no stock bolts. We studded it. Um, we had the heads done by Nolan's local machine shop that does Primo Duramax Power Stroke work. Um, we did it all guys, so seals, everything, all new seals from the ground up, huge receipt. I will plug it in right here. Uh, you can also find it at 816diesel.com on our website, but here's a glimpse of all the work we did to this. Big, big receipt. So with that being said, let's hop out i guess you know it's a regular cab it is got it does have bluetooth so there's a microphone up there so you can take your calls wirelessly I'm trying to think of the options i need to show you that's about it <clears throat> regular cabs are not known for being fancy on the inside it's got some form fit liners um vinyl floors yeah so that's pretty much it just want to show you guys the truck stock does not have a tuner on it didn't have one uh but let's go under the hood here, take a look. This truck has a really nice pedigree, guys. SMB cold air intake. That is your EGR delete. No blow by at all. all in all guys it is a nice truck like i said it's got brand new head gasket studs up pipe 
It's got a three inch MBRP downpipe with a four inch MBRP exhaust. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, not a lot going on. All the LLY head gasket issues have been fixed. All that work was done in the last hundred miles, a couple of weeks here. So everything under the hood is primo, ready to go. We did some black housing headlights. Actually, let's kick the lights on. This thing has a nice set of LEDs pretty much everywhere. So let's kick those headlights on and check them out. So it's got LED five high, LED mirrors, headlights are stock bulbs, LEDs on the bottom, fog lights, super nice front clip. There is no damage on it. A couple of rock chips down low here. Sorry, I can't see that. Actually more just dirt, not even really rock chipped up. So you do got some right there. Looks like it's been touched up before at some point. Uh, we put brand new tires on it. What do we got? A 30575 30570R16s. Brand new Cavalry MT Road Ones. Nice mud terrain, 10 ply, low range E. Brand new 30, I think those are 34 inch tires. They're not 35s, 34s. Really nice tire though. Uh, it clears great. We were able to keep the mud flaps. There's no spacers. Stock wheels that are in awesome condition. They've been refinished at some point. Uh, we have a 2015 Denali style tow mirror with the LED marker lights. And it does have paint to match caps, top and bottom. That adds a nice little bit of touch. Uh, you got the rain guard visors on there, window tint. Some nice little running boards. Now, you're probably wondering about the rust on this truck. And as I open that up, it doesn't look like there's much. These cab corners did have some rust. They weren't shot. The rockers are nice, but the cab corners did have little holes right there at the bottom. You've seen them on our channel before. We are running a quick cover. See that line right there? That's the cover we added. It goes all the way down. So, makes it look brand new. You guys probably couldn't even tell until I pointed it out. They really, I mean, look at that. That thing looks perfect. So we kill the rust, we grind it out. We put a preventative Permatex uh, solution on there that stops it from advancing. Uh, but outside of that, we just paint these covers, put them on there, secure them properly. And I mean, you never have to deal with rust again. That will cover it forever. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's a cheaper solution for us to make it look really nice and still fix it and sell it to you you know to be able to put new metal welded in there you're looking at thousands of dollars so this is the compromise and i'm not trying to mislead anyone we show you everything point it out now even though that had a little rust this bed is surprisingly clean like look at these cross rails they're not rusty at all the bed is super nice never had a fifth wheel or a gooseneck hitch in it got a liner a little bit of white paint in there but it comes with the tractor supply toolbox did not get a key with it never had a fifth wheel hitch or a gooseneck we upgraded the tail lights to Silverado smoke tail lights I think that looks super sharp kind of just tie in with those other black lights and we did a black LED third brake as well um, it has a paint to match rear bumper it's not perfect if you get on the bottom there you can see it's got some rock chips and a little bit of rust starting but nothing crazy and the tailgate's got a dinger up there I know my focus is doing something weird trying to keep up with it but you can see right there a little dinger like I said four inch MBRP exhaust and it sounds phenomenal Oh yeah, I forgot, it does have some Linex on the bottom there, covering up a little bit of rock chips, I'm assuming. Maybe some early rust, it looks nice, the metal's good. There's no filler in it. Bed rail's nice on both sides of the bed. That's not a rust-free truck, guys, but it is super clean. 
and we've made it. I mean, look at that. That thing is beautiful. See, the paint shines up, and we didn't even polish it. We just washed it. Same thing over here. It's got the quick cover on it. it looks like a brand new truck. And these weren't horrible. They just had little rust circles down here. But we're not body guys. We don't weld. We don't put new metal in, so... Guys, all in all, this is a super cool truck. It has a great pedigree, tons of receipt and service, front suspension work done, head gaskets, head studs, delete, never been tuned, super good miles, 155, super rare cab, regular cab, long bed, three quarter ton. I mean, what more could you ask for out of a Duramax? And it drives just as nice. Believe me, this thing drives great. Uh, it does have a couple little rattles in the dashes. It is a almost a 20 year old truck so give it a break it's not perfect but it's in great condition 816diesel.com follow it 816diesel.com that is where you're going to find hd pictures i just took them uh, information on the modifications receipts everything i covered today is on the website 816diesel.com check it out my name is cameron if you got any questions call me text me 913-735-3748 I mean, trucks are in a huge demand. We're selling them like crazy. This one will sell fast. It is a beautiful truck from head to toe. Um, so don't snooze on it, guys. Let me know what you thought about the truck. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Like I said, we got some super cool trucks right around the corner. So you don't want to miss out on those. Uh, but thanks for watching as always and have a great day. give you a little drive time out of here and that way you can see how she drives we'll pop in some nice music right here too to oh no we got the train still and it stopped all right pop in that music do a little drive time for him.